Yes, sir. Good morning. I uh, hope right. you find the weather in London. It's better than London because it's a warmer. The, the, the temperature is colder, but the air is drier. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have a just period, uh, relations between the People's Republic of China and the United Kingdom have continued to deepen, uh, and we're very proud that we have just as so many British people are coming to China and having great holidays. Of the potential Chinese tourists to Britain. <laughs> we also welcome more and more British no, Chinese no, tourists. No, <laughs> I hope we are going to no, we're very more delighted, hotels. <laughs> delighted to have them, uh, because uh, the number of, of, of people from overseas visiting Britain is rising. Um, we happen to think it's a great place to visit, and we're extremely pleased to welcome uh, tourists from China. The results of any decision should not be an increase of arms and exports from EU member states to China, either in quantitative or qualitative terms. And in this regard, the European Council recalled the importance of the cri criteria of the Code of Conduct on arms exports, in particular, regarding human rights, stability and security in the region, and national security of friendly and allied uh, countries. More students from China study in the United Kingdom from any other country, and I have today signed an agreement which will encourage more Chinese tourists to visit the United Kingdom. To return to the arms embargo, you said that it's no longer appropriate for China to be bracketed with...